Hey there, Adam here. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly and efficiently create templates that you can use inside of your Notion workspace. So to uh, get the unfortunate news out of the way first, you cannot create just a template for a new page that's just floating out here in the, uh, in the void. So for example, if you have seen just like create a new page and then clicking on templates here, this will give you a bunch of preset templates that came with Notion, built into Notion. You cannot add your own custom templates to this list, which is stupid, but that's the limitation we're working with today. So the two, method, uh, the two methods that we're going to discuss today are doing a template inside of databases or also as a public page. So the first method is probably the easiest and obviously private as opposed to public. Uh, we're going to create templates that live inside of our databases. So we're going to do slash database. Let's just make a new one for the, for the purposes of today. And we'll do a new database page. Let's just name it templates database example. And now let's put in the data that we want to use as a template page. So for this, I'm just going to use my table of contents tutorial that I did a while back. Uh, I'm just going to drag and copy all the content. Hopefully that got everything. We'll find out in a second if it did or not. It didn't look like it grabbed the uh, header block, but I guess we'll see. So then we're going to go into our templates database. Click on open. And I'll just do this full view. It's just easier to see. And then we're going to click on the create a template button. And it says you're entering, you are editing a template inside the templates database. So this is going to be our TOC table of contents template. And I'm going to paste this all in here. Oh, yeah, looks like it worked. All right. So we are going to close out. And now we have a template for this database. So now if we want to use it, let's create another new item. Make it full screens. And then we can click on TOC template. This is now showing up on our template list. A second, and now you got a page with your template in there. So that is the easiest way. I do note that this only works inside this specific database. So if you need it inside a different database, so I have this database up here. If I was to create a new page here, there are not any templates. This only lives inside the database in which you put it in. So here's the one I here's the database I put it in. So that is a definite limiting factor. Uh, unfortunately, there's not really a workaround. So the other way to create a template that you may want to use, uh, which I don't, I don't love, but is a method, is you can actually just create this as a public page. So you can click on Share. You can click on Publish, then Publish to Web, and then you'll see where it says Allow Duplicate as Template. So then we're going to view the site. Here's our template. You're just going to click on, you know, here's your address to this template. So I click on duplicate, and it'll ask you which one of your workspaces you want to duplicate it to. I want to duplicate it here. And it'll show up in your private section down here. So this is the page you just made off of that duplicate. So you can do it that way too. I And that one will just be its own page floating out here in the middle of nowhere. You can put it wherever you want. I And that does work too. So hopefully that will get you started with how to create templates. I would say the database method's probably easier. If you really wanted to, you know, you could go into here. You can grab this. You can open it. And you just copy and paste or whatever you want to do with this particular item inside this database. So yeah, it's not the most intuitive. You can move it. You, know, you can move it back out to general workspace. See, here it is now. Uh, you can move it out, so you could just create a, a templates database and then just move your new page to wherever you want it. That is a possibility. Not the cleanest method, but definitely a method you could take. Uh, this is just to get you started to show you how to create them because there's not much information out there and it is all, it's just a mess because it's just not very particularly well implemented. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.